Hello and welcome to the Thursday, September 19th, 2024 edition of the Sands and its Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. Xavier today wrote about the info stealer he found that appears to be targeting crypto wallets in addition to other username and passwords found on your operating system. It's targeting Windows in particular to script patches existing installations of the Windows Exodus crypto coin wallet. Exodus is one of the more popular wallets. It's written using the Electron framework, meaning that the source code is mostly JavaScript. The info stealer Xavier found just replaces one of the JavaScript files making up the wallet. So this way the malicious code is injected in the replacement file. While this may appear somewhat sophisticated when we're talking about patching, remember this just involves replacing the file. The trick has become somewhat a commodity with these Electron application and is also used by less skilled attackers. I think this is a little bit evident here because uh, Xavier notes there are a number of encoding issues and such with this particular malware. So it's actually not really written that well. Proper authentication for data stored in cloud services is always critical as there's usually no perimeter to hide your mistakes. The latest example is the support platform ServiceNow. A blog post by App Omni shows how a recent improvement to ServiceNow's access control lists did not affect knowledge bases stored in ServiceNow. As a result, data stored in these knowledge bases may have accidentally been exposed. Knowledge bases, well, uh, they're often actually part public and uh, then also the way access is controlled to these knowledge base articles is a little bit different in uh, service now than other objects that are stored. As a result, uh, these adjustments they made sort of to default permissions didn't really quite apply to uh, knowledge bases. So some of these default restrictions do not apply and that makes them vulnerable to being exposed. The blog post by Omni provides more details about this as to how the different uh, privilege mechanisms here work in a service now and how to make sure that your knowledge bases are properly secured. GitLab released a critical update uh, fixing an authentication bypass vulnerability in its SAML implementation. The root cause are vulnerabilities in libraries that GitLab employs to implement SAML. And these libraries are updated with this patch. The advisory includes quite a bit of good information, including indicators to detect exploitation in logs. So don't just quickly apply the patch. Take a look at the full advisory and make sure that this hasn't already been exploited against your instance of GitLab. Users of Aruba networking controllers also have an update waiting for them. The update fixes three remote code execution vulnerabilities, but exploitation requires authentication, restricting access to the command line and web-based admin interfaces is as always recommended and will reduce your exposure. Well, and this is it for today. Thanks for listening and talk to you again tomorrow.